Hello everyone, my name is Niall and I wanted to talk about some things that have been in my mind in this video. In the background, I've got no idea what's happened to Kimi Raikkonen with this glitch you're about to see. But anyway, I wanted to talk about stigmatisation and the stigmatisation of mental health. I think it's completely wrong and this is why. First of all, we should not live in a society where people feel forced or pressured into not saying anything and not speaking out about mental health. Our society should not frown upon people who feel broken, they shouldn't suppress people who want to express their emotions to other people, it makes them feel worthless, a lost cause almost. To the people who will judge someone with a mental health disorder and say that they're crazy or they're broken or they aren't the same as everybody else, that's just wrong. They're equal, everybody's equal, and if you start to alienate somebody because you feel like they're different, that's only going to make them feel worse about it. That's the thing quite often with mental health, is that it's all within your own mind, how you perceive the world, and if you're perceiving a world where everybody treats you unfairly and in an unjustified way, because you're different, then that's going to make you feel so much worse about it. I think a lot of destigmatization and how it can be tackled is coming from education, education of young people in schools, making it more of a priority to teach people about mental health from a young age so it becomes more widely accepted. Just getting people used to the idea that mental health disorders are a common thing, they're really common. If everybody opened up about their own story, people would realise how common it is. It would really help make more people aware that there are so many people going through issues like that. And it would also help the people who suffer from the disorders themselves so they're not alone. Because that's what mental health disorders tend to do to you. They make you feel alone, they make you feel like you're the only person on earth who has that disorder. It's not true. Not whatsoever. It's another thing that needs to be destigmatized. Go and see a therapist, go and see a counsellor. People for some reason have this view that going to see a counsellor, going to see a therapist, is a bad thing. It's not whatsoever. Therapists and counsellors exist for a reason, and the reason is to help people. They are some of the most amazing people in this world. I've had my own experience, I'm currently undergoing counselling sessions at the moment, and it's amazing. It really is. Having the ability to talk to somebody without fear or judgement, without feeling the need to put pressure on the people close to you maybe, or there's plenty of different reasons. But it really is worth it, and it really does work, and it does help. And to the people who look at counsellors and say, the only reason you'd go to one is because you're different, because you're weird and you're crazy. It's wrong, and we all need to take a stand up against that. And you can see it in popular media, you'll see it in TV shows and all kinds of things where it's not exactly frowned upon, but it's almost, whenever counselling is mentioned, it's almost like a feeling like people don't want to go there and it's not a thing you want to be doing, but it really should be. Some of the most healthy and intelligent people in this world will have somebody like that to talk to and will go and see a therapist because it helps them even if you're not broken, even if you don't have a mental health disorder, it's still a really useful thing to do. So if you're watching this video, I just want you to try and play your own part because everybody, everybody has a part to play in destigmatizing mental health. If it's just talking to a handful of people over the next few days, weeks, just mentioning it casually a lot more often people will get to know and become more aware and eventually I honestly believe we will destigmatize mental health. That last clip by the way was me going Kevin Magnuson mode i.e. barging everybody out of the way being very aggressive but anyway thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon.